you know, really some of them too were, were maybe not the, the sad moments, but the happy ones when, when they got together and they were telling stories and you could, I'd hear them behind me in the bus or at a restaurant and it wasn't just having a good time, good time, but they were exchanging some of these war stories and you could sort of feel the healing going on. Um, you know, the questions they'd ask and, and it was, that part can't be caught on film. There, there were so many pictures I couldn't catch on film that, you know, they're, they're in your head and, and in your memory and that's it. You know, it, it's funny, I shot, of all the pictures, I was probably shooting 1,500 pictures a day and editing those down to a good 40 to 50 that are really strong ones. And that comes out to, well, I know I've got 600 in a folder right now, and it's overwhelming because they were all special moments in a way. Even just watching the, watching the people on the street, watching how they lived when Jenny and I would be looking out the window at, uh, they take siestas in the afternoon in hammocks and have tea and, and just their way of life. It's so, it's like they, they're working on being happy, not working to work. And some of those moments where you realize that maybe we've got it wrong. Maybe, you know, it's nice to have a job and you want to do good work, but, but it's like their whole society has changed a little bit and a lot of these people just want to be happy and be at peace. And, and their way of life was just inspiring to watch them.